Welcome to the Art of Japanese Green Tea. I'm Matt. And I'm Griff. And today we're going to talk to you about a very special kind of sencha called shincha. Now shincha, what it is, is it's the very first picking of the sencha for the year, but it's it's just picked and then it's um, it's steamed and packaged and just sold right away. So there's no cold refrigeration or storage or anything like yeah. Two weeks ago or three weeks now since we've been drinking it for a week. Yeah. These uh the the sencha we have here was just growing on a tea plant on in tea Japan. Plant in Japan. Yeah. So seeing how like it more or less is the same, we'll get a little more into specifics later on. But seeing how brewing shincha is the similar to brewing sencha, uh, why don't we start going with that? And uh, yeah, so we're brewing a uh, same eatery today, and it's uh, we got it from ocha.com, and it's um it's a deep steamed sencha, well shincha, and um I don't know it's a it's a pretty. Uh, Pretty good. It's very like sweet and mm-hmm. not very uh, bitter or astringent. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I guess Sai um ter- uh, char- typical characteristic or main trait is the fact that it uh, it's very sweet. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so uh, shincha, shincha means new tea, and it's the first picking of uh, sencha in Japan, and it's usually only available around from late April to maybe like late May or so. Sometimes you can get in June if you, uh, depending. But um, yeah, so Shincha is known for the fact that it's very fresh as it's obviously just been picked. Uh, It hasn't spent any time in cold storage. It's um, like ready to go. It's also uh, known for being very um, aromatic and sweet. And part of the reasons for that is that there's a bit of chemistry behind it. Um, so basically, I guess uh, when you store the um, like the tea for a long time, it loses some of its amino acids or whatever, and has more catech catechins, catechins, catechins or whatever, yeah. which supposedly are good for your health or whatever. But they make the tea taste more bitter, so. Yeah, in our books, those are bad things. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and like uh, on top of that, so yeah, as as the tea gets older, it's a little more um, uh, not not quite as lively, but also over the winter, the tea plants sort of store up the the nutrients in them, and the first uh, leaves that bud on them in the in the spring have a lot more amino acid in them, which is what's responsible for making the tea. Yeah. Sweeter, so so shincha is usually a very nice, uh, nice sweet tea. So with this one in particular, which again is a Fukumushi deep steamed sencha, what brewing parameters are you going to use? Um, I'm using one and three quarters of a scoop mm. for my two cups. Yeah. Um. So the measurements, I get, the scoop is just a tablespoon. Yeah. These cups, I'm not too sure. Yeah. And that's, yeah, it's like <laughs> just, just based on eyesight, it's pretty much in line with, with how I brew. And I brew for one cup, which is 125 milliliters. And um, I use one and a quarter uh, scoops, which is a tablespoon. So it might be a little bit lighter. Yeah. In that, in that area, it's 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 all um it depends a bit on like your preference too. Like, yeah, it's not always gonna be the same for everyone, but in that general. Yeah. Area. Yeah. I don't know. Like if you if you know how to brew it as sencha, then the the brewing parameters will probably be about the same for shincha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Usually you want, yeah, it's like you, you usually brew a little lighter, but it, it's more or less the same. So I guess year to year, though, like it kind of changes. Yeah, well, each each tea, like, it's grown over the year, and, you know, it's not always going to be the exact same as it was. Yeah. So you'll have to adjust each year for that tea yeah. parameters and just make sure you know the difference. Yeah. 
That's kind of that's kind of one of the weird things because like I don't know I I find a lot of things around here maybe it's cultural like it's good to have consistency it's good to to be able to go to any McDonald's and have the exact same. I noticed Big the Mac. Tim Hortons um, here tastes the worse than every other Tim Hortons. The one like downtown? Yeah. Tastes like they burnt it or something. I don't know. I don't really drink it unless I, yeah. I'm gonna pass out. But <laughs> you need an extra boost. Yeah, I, I guess like, you know, it's it's typically good at least sought out to be consistent across yeah. the board. But I actually find it really interesting how how tea changes year by year. And it, um, I, I find, I, I like trying to discover new teas and, or the same teas in a new way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like sometimes maybe it's, maybe it's a great year for, for your favorite, um, Yutaka Midri. Maybe it's a bad year and, you know, it kind of sucks, but. <laughs> Seems like it's a great year for SM, which is one of my favorites normally anyway, so I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know yep. if you can see this, but I'll try and show you. If you can see, it's pretty crumbly. Pretty crumbly, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and something that was uh, was being discussed on our forum, something interesting I, I've noted is like, would you say that, you know, over the years, I, I've 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 noted that, noticed this. I don't know if it's accurate, but it seems to me over the years. Uh, Fukumushi, so deep steep sencha, has become more and more crumbly, and I'm assuming that's because the steaming process is taking longer. Like, have you noticed that too, or? Yeah, it, I don't know. Like, if you look at this right here, like this is, this is like crumblier than coffee for most of the yeah. bits. Like, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a sound theory. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to uh, we'll have to uh, get in contact with Sue and be like, hey, you guys been crumbling this a bit more. We'll Something get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm kind of sunburned actually. Yeah, it's pretty hot out. Um, it is so weird because like two weeks ago we were outside, and we were wearing winter coats. Yeah and just like a switch like snowing like winter yeah full-on winter and then summer like there's no spring here in canada we don't have that really like at least at it's least technically a spring but like we don't experience it <laughs> at least not anymore <laughs> yeah but it was crazy so like a few weeks ago um there was this giant ice storm and my neighbor's tree this was a few weeks ago my neighbor's tree was like bent down with the weight of the ice and it was touching his driveway. I remember going outside and there was ice falling from the trees and the <laughs> power lines, like literally everywhere, like ice just dropping all over the road and cars and like, it was ridiculous. And now, now look, it's freaking summer out here. Like, nice and warm and yeah, it's like, I'm almost worried it's gonna get too warm like next week. Yeah, like, if it keeps getting warm at this rate, like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to need a lot of iced tea to get through that. Yeah. Speaking of which, that seems like probably what our next video I was, will be. I was thinking about that earlier when thinking about um, this video. Yeah, we could definitely be using some iced sencha. Iced shincha. Iced shincha. Have you had any yet? No, not yet. I've just had it hot. I've had some. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome, I would say. <laughs> Yeah, I remember um, having like a, a Fukumushi a, a, a last year, and it's so crazy how intense, <coughs> sorry, intense the flavor is of um, of like iced sencha. How strong you can make it, but not bitter at all. So yeah, you get you brew it for like a few hours or like eight hours, and it doesn't even matter like. Yeah. <laughs> it just caps and then it stays good. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. So that'll be a really fun video to do. But, um, yeah. But anyway, speak about this one though. Um, so yeah, I guess with, uh, 
with this Shincha in particular. The SM. Yeah, it, it's not quite as aromatic as uh, other ones I've experienced in the past, but it's still nice. It has uh, a very uh, bold flavor to it. It's not bitter at all. Yeah, it's not bitter and it's not very astringent. It's very, it's pretty sweet. Like it's, I don't know. I like. I'm a fan of it. Yeah. Do you know that person? Who is it? Yeah, he lives in my neighborhood. Oh, okay. He's my neighbor. Well, I guess that's just about it for this video. Kind of a shorter one, but uh, we'll see uh, see some uh, setup action in a minute for you. Yeah. <laughs> to make this possible, um, we had to run some extension. We're in the park right now. And we had to run some extension cords from my place to the park so that we could have our Zoji out here. <laughs> yeah, so you'll see that in a minute. But anyway, so uh, yeah, there's going to be more a lot more discussion on Shincha and tea in general on our forum, which is aj-gt.com slash forum. You can check us out on Facebook. And you can check out our website too, which is airjapaneseguretea.com or aj-pt.com Depends how many characters you like to type. Or if you just favorite it. Or just favorite it, bookmark it, make it your homepage. Keep the tab open all the time. Have your browser open up as your computer turns on. With our smiling faces right there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well... We'll see you next time. Come in. All right, so uh, basically we're just gonna run an extension cord from my apartment to the park. Yeah, we need to plug in the hot water dispenser. Yeah, we figured we may as well just just go uh, go hard with the extension cords. <laughs> So, All right. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> All right. So here's our extension cord here. Hopefully it'll reach. Well. Let's plug that in. To the... Yeah. Or wait, just hand me it. Yeah. Tie it. All right. So I got this plugged into my place. Extension cords count two. Oh, 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 oh. oh, all right, all right. Let's go see if there's some more. Oh, look, there's seven right here. <laughs> all right, take two. Extension cord number three. While he's doing that, I should probably grab a few extension cords myself. There we go. I got one. Oh, I forgot that there's a roadway in between. You did, eh? Yeah. 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 Looks good. Here you go. I'll go get another. Uh, no, you can film this first. Okay, yeah. Well, I don't know what you're filming. Anyway. It's probably not the most interesting thing in the world. Well, let's place it together and make it interesting. We'll make it interesting. So you're tying a knot here now. Any any uh, explanation behind um, behind so this? So when I pull on it, it doesn't undo itself. Yeah, this one seemed kind of crappy. It's a good thing we brought an eight. <laughs> <laughs> we figured that three might do it, but that's clearly not the case. Oh, here comes another, or is that something else? No, it's just one of those cords to see um, how many cars go by. I don't worry about it. We're with the city. <laughs> 
All right, so we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. Watch, there's like a whole bunch of people at the park. Wow, suddenly close. Yeah, the other thing we were thinking about is like, it, it, will there be res some resistance built up for the electrical current here? <laughs> so, can this actually even work? This is, uh, you might have to go back for the chow tip one. Well, why? We need one more, literally. Go back and look for one in my place, and we'll get the Choto one if there's not one there. All right. <laughs> we thought three might do it. Yeah, we were dreaming. I'll go get the cord. Sure. All right, so just to give you a bit up to date, we uh, got one more cord, but it turns out that one doesn't work. All right, so, all right, so here is our location. It's pretty neat. I won't pan it any more than that way because there's people over there. So, uh, yeah. It'll make for a good uh, video location.